Hey, this is YBR doing a retrospective look at 250 best arcade game CD. Uh, the reason I'm in Windows Explorer, not the actual game, is because it is a collection of 250 games. I'm just going to kind of go over the uh, contents of it and the uh, interface. First, when you start it up, as you see, you have all of these options. Four of them, really. These ones are, well, you don't use them, really, unless you hate it. I do, but that's a different topic. Right, so you can search, do it by overall score. What that means is the people who put this disc together gave every game a score for graphics, sound, animation, and an overall score. Uh, this score seems f somewhat random. It's really hard to say. Um, I don't know. And this this is a very laggy interface, by the way. Um, but see like some of them it just seems like that's a seven on graphics right but then you go to a lot of them don't have images too that's the most annoying thing another annoying thing I mean come on you don't have images for these you couldn't have spent the five seconds it takes to take a screenshot you see this Pac-Man or okay Godman a Pac-Man clone one of the most basic graphical things you can have gets a five on graphics I don't get that you know a lot of this doesn't make sense like what was that? that gets a seven that gets a seven that is a tempest clone it looks like and that gets an eight those very basic graphics get an eight so whatever um anyways let's uh get to the other menu style again and there's also you can do them by category so there's all these different categories card games i hate casino games i hate kids games it's just it just seems wrong to do Mind games just get boring to do. I mean, a lot of this just doesn't work for all these videos. But you can also do alphabetical. You know, alphabet, right? So I'll do arcade because this is arcade games, right? Well, not really. Most of these games are DOS games or just old Windows games that have been compiled onto a CD. None of them are actual, or very few of them, I should say, are actual arcade games. Some of them are. But uh, there are no, it's just a uh, coincidental relationship, really. It, doesn't matter if it was or was it because it, it's not from an arcade no matter how you look at it so basically it's just a bunch of shit uh, the games some of them let's see if I could find one that will do it this one for example if you try to run this one you say okay run from CD um, oh maybe it'll work see so it's it, you can't tell but some of the games where it says setup.exe or install.exe those ones will require an installation before you play them even if you hit the run from CD button so let's see okay that does work and um, but yeah I'm it you can't tell that's the big thing you you never never ever ever know if it will like this one's called setup it may or may not run actually so this one that see right here you have to actually install it even if you hit the run from CD button you have to still install it that is stupid so let's get back into this and it minimizes itself. So, and, and if you hit the install thing, it does the same thing. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that button. Why didn't I use it earlier? Anyways, there's a bunch of shit. Let's do a sport. All right, let's uh, just actually do a game uh, pretty much randomly. Let's go with... Oh, uh, wow. These are all okay, let's do this golf game. That looks interesting enough. Yes, it's a See that? It's a DOS game right there. I don't know if you'll be able to read it, depending on how uh, high the quality is when it's uploaded. But that is a DOS game. And for some reason, they have these things that say registration free. But fee. I've played a couple, and they haven't seemed to be affected by this. They seemed like full games. I don't get that. Like, some of them do, and some of them don't. It's weird. There we go. Okay, this one. This one, it actually has a registration fee where it means something. And, uh. Doesn't look like it'll run. I'll try it, maybe. Because this is a virtual machine, so I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I'm hitting my any key. There we go. Oh, cool. It's actually... Okay. Alright, let's just play this one game and we're done. Alright. Da -da -da -da. Where the hell is my mouse? It's boxed. I can't... S Alright, that's lovely. If my mouse is on the outer box, I can see it perfectly fine. Get in the game can't I guess you have to keyboard it but doesn't see oh you okay just there we go I don't know what I did but I started it yeah look at that 
Whew, what a game. What the hell am I doing? Alright, fuck this. Um, yeah, that's 250 best arcade games in a virtual machine. Some of them are free, like this one, you don't have to pay. And that gets a 3 on graphics. You know what, what did the other one get? That gets a 5. That one's actually 3D and it gets a 5. This one, which is just a generic dartboard, gets a 6. It has no sound, and its animation gets a 5. And its overall score is an 8. How does that work? If you have a 5 and a 6 and a 0, basically, how do you get 8? Ah, make no sense to me. So, like I said, you got these two buttons. Let's make use of them. Oh. I did not delete that. He <laughs> can't even uninstall it. Oh, maybe that's like one game if you can install a game. Okay, that's to uninstall a certain game if you install it. All right, that is like I said, 250 best arcade games. Uh, until next time. Next time I'll actually have a game and not that. Uh, see ya.